which you okay okay all right i'll go ahead and call this council special session to order the topic would be uh cascade lease agreement and departure and I'm going to go ahead. We'll be going into executive session, but I'm going to give out a minute to see if we can have the reporter show back up under camera from the spotlight, and then we will go there. We'll have to ask that Scott Jacobson leave the room voluntarily and then try to get back in um, in 10, 10 minutes. Okay, and Kathy. Scott, you... Scott Keith is trying to get back in. Okay. All right, Scott Keith. And then let me get out of the recording and everything. To start, start our special session here. We'll allow uh, another couple minutes for visitors to join in. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, welcome back um, from re from our executive session. The time is now 4.22 p.m. <clears throat> and uh, I wouldn't mind having uh, our attorney, David Rubino, just give us a, um, the I gave the subject matter was um, um, the lease agreement between the city and Cascades and the departure. Um, but if you could just give a quick overall view Sure, Mr. Mayor, happy to do so. Um, yeah, so uh, Cascades, as everyone knows, gave notice of its uh, desire to terminate the lease with the city early. We entered into negotiations with Cascades and uh, the parties reached what we believe is an appropriate and mutually favorable agreement for both sides that will facilitate the lease termination the Cascades will pay the city a total of $600,000, um, which is allocated to take care of their sludge removal obligation, payment for various parts and equipment that they are electing to remove from the facility, and uh, funding to help provide security at the premises for the first six months of next year. In addition, they are agreeing to help train city personnel to take over the mill, they are doing winterization of the premises. They're taking care of repairs as have been agreed upon. Um, and they are also agreeing to help assist in getting the paper machines that they are leaving behind uh, ready for auction, though they have no obligations to participate in the auction or to help facilitate it beyond that. Um, and otherwise, it, it also takes care of any and all potential claims that may exist between the parties under the lease and pursuant to the agreement, Cascades has also agreed to work with the city to resolve the pending litigation, pursuant to which the city will dismiss the pending appeal and Cascades will agree to jointly move to vacate the currently existing limited judgment, uh, which will then clean up and take care of various title issues that, that limited judgment currently imposes. So as we discussed, 
you know, it's council's recommendation to proceed forward with the agreement. We believe it's been negotiated in good faith that it is a good and reasonable compromise and a meeting of the minds between the two parties. So. Okay, any discussion from councilors on it? I just know myself and Russ had an opportunity to meet with uh, the Cascade president and uh, Jonathan Bouchard, who was the plant manager. And uh, it, it seemed like, you know, uh, um, it was a sad day for them too, especially the plant manager, Jonathan. He had grown attached to it, very respectable guy. And that uh, um, they are definitely being more than fair with the city and uh, um, that, that's just what we came up with um, in, in the meeting. I could be wrong, uh, you know, in my assessment, but I think that's what everybody felt. Uh, Councilor Hubbard, you sat in on that meeting. Would you like to just? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, you're, you're dealing with a, a big corporation. And I think uh, um, I we're, we're taking on the equipment. I wish we'd given them the equipment uh, for them to auction off because I, I don't see it's always a gamble of what you're ever going to get in the end, but um, we'll definitely get something. Uh, so, and they're used to auctions and, and that sort of thing. Um, but that that being said, I think go forward and um, um, we'll we'll have the auction down the road, uh, and then uh, the uh, the agreement was was back and forth and and. Uh, I think one of the big pluses for the city is is uh, having that litigation uh, extinguished. So um, there's a liability. So that, that came as probably the most positive thing out of the closure. Um, and uh, so I guess that's, yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, agreeable. Um, uh, structure is, it seems to be fine to me. Um, we should probably we, they they obviously want that they're going to big tax break before the end of the year so here we are mm -hmm. so that's okay. what I got okay any other discussion on it all right well I would entertain somebody to make a motion that uh, I sign the departure agreement with Cascade Tissue. I'll make a motion to sign the departure agreement with Cascade Tissue. You have to unmute yourself. I seen your lips moving, Mark. Oh, really? <laughs> no, not you, Russ. Oh, Mark. not me. Mark, Mark we heard you. We heard you, Russ. I'll second the motion. <laughs> okay. Just a point of clarification, um, Councillor Hubbard, your motion is for the mayor to sign the agreement? Yes. And we have a second by Gunderson, correct? That is correct. Okay. Uh, we'll start with Councillor Sunday. Aye. Councillor Gunderson? Aye. Councillor Hubbard? Aye. And I'm going to aye as well. All right, gentlemen, um, have a happy new year. And we'll see you just after the first of the year, okay? Thank you. You too. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you to David and uh, Bill for being here. And uh, everybody, happy have a happy new year. You too, as well. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.